in the realm of television, where stories unfold like hidden treasures waiting to be unearthed. There exists a time capsule that transcends eras. Imagine, for a moment, stepping into the neon-tinged tapestry of the mid-1980s, where power suits ruled, courtrooms buzzed with tension, and the City of Angels revealed its multifaceted soul. It was here, amidst the captivating allure of primetime drama, that laugh. Law burst forth like a comet streaking across the night sky, etching its indelible mark on the canvas of pop culture. Do you remember that electrifying sensation, the very first moment your eyes locked onto the screen, and the world of Laugh? Law enveloped you like a seductive embrace. Perhaps it was the charismatic ensemble of characters, each with their quirks and convictions, that drew you in. Or maybe it was the brilliant dance between legal battles and personal dilemmas that kept you on the edge of your seat. And oh, the moments that sparked laughter, gasps, and introspection, those were the fragments of time that truly lingered. Was it the witty banter between partners, the raw intensity of courtroom showdowns, or the entangled lives that wove a captivating web of intrigue? Recall those scenes that painted the show's landscape with vivid strokes of emotion, be they heart-rending or heartwarming. For each viewer, the journey was a personal one, a mosaic of memories unique and cherished. But here's a twist that might just reignite your fascination. Did you know that behind the scenes, Laugh, Law was a hotbed of innovation, challenging norms, and shaping the future of legal dramas on television. Now, let's delve into a medley of intriguing tidbits that cast a spotlight on the show's behind-the-scenes magic, shedding light on the creativity and craftsmanship that birthed this iconic series. From casting coops that shaped characters' destinies to plot twists that kept audiences guessing, the intricate tapestry of La. Law was woven with meticulous care, resulting in a tapestry that stood the test of time. So, let's embark on this journey together, a journey that will whisk us back to the dazzling world of power suits, moral dilemmas, and unforgettable personalities. And with that, let the curtain rise on our exploration of La. Law, where the complexities of law and life converged in spellbinding harmony. Ready to uncover the hidden gems and lesser-known tales of this legendary show. Fasten your seatbelts, for the ride is about to begin. Again, 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 again. Shifting plates and dramatic finales, unveiling the intriguing details of 1,986 seconds TV series Laugh. Law in the annals of television history, few series have left as indelible a mark as the 1986 legal drama Laugh. Law. Amid its riveting courtroom battles and complex characters, a lesser-known tale of behind-the-scenes moments and subtle symbolism emerges. As the show's narrative unfolded, one unexpected twist intertwined with luxury cars, while another showcased the bittersweet finale. During its opening credits, La Law greeted viewers with a visual motif that evolved over time, mirroring the show's transformation. For the first seven seasons, the license plate glistened on the rear of a Jaguar, epitomizing elegance and speed. However, in the final season, an evolution was evident. The license plate transitioned to grace the rear of a Bentley Continental R, a car that gained narrative significance. This automotive shift paralleled character arcs, most notably Arnie Becker's contemplation of owning this extravagant vehicle. The pinnacle arrived when, in the third episode of the same season, Arnie received the Bentley as an unexpected gift. This intricate detail, a hallmark of the show's attention to detail, spoke volumes about the intertwining of the personal and the professional in the characters' lives. Yet, amid the glimmering exteriors and the vehicular transitions, a poignant tale unfolded about the show's final moments. On the morning of May 10, 1994, the cast and crew concluded their arduous journey, wrapping up the shooting for the last episode. Notably, Corbin Bernson, known for his role as Arnie Becker, made an impromptu call into the Howard Stern show mere moments before the final scene was filmed. This unexpected act of candidness captured the emotional intensity of the show's culmination, a testament to the camaraderie forged during years of collaboration. In the wake of the series finale, one figure stood out, Rosalind Shays, a character whose fate took a surprising turn. In an Emmy 2V Legends interview, David E. Kelly, the mastermind behind La. Law unveiled his reasoning for her demise. Kelly's deep fondness for the character propelled his decision, he opted to craft her demise as he departed the show, safeguarding her legacy from potential misdirection under another writer's pen. In the grand tapestry of television, Laugh, Law carved a niche where legal drama met character exploration. 
Beyond the courtrooms and conference rooms, intricate details like the license plate's metamorphosis, and the heartfelt final moments of filming add depth to the series lore. A show that bridged entertainment and realism, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. Television history. Television history. 1986 TV series La. Law breaks boundaries with controversial on-screen kiss in the annals of television history. The 1986 series La. Law stands as an emblem of innovation and boundary pushing. Created by Stephen Bochco, the show captivated audiences with its legal drama set against the backdrop of a high-powered Los Angeles law firm. However, it was a particular episode in early 1991 that etched the series into the record books as a pioneer in representation. In a fifth season episode, two female characters, Abby and the newcomer CJ, shared a kiss that sent shockwaves through the primetime American television landscape. This intimate moment marked the first time two women locked lips in a major primetime series. The groundbreaking scene sparked both acclaim and controversy, sparking conversations about LGBTQ plus representation and the limits of on-screen expression. The embrace was a testament to the show's commitment to pushing the envelope and addressing pertinent societal issues. La. Law was unafraid to delve into the complexities of human relationships and confront prevailing norms, a hallmark of Stephen Bochco's creative vision. As viewers grappled with the significance of this moment, it became clear that La. Law was more than just a legal drama, it was a platform for social commentary and change. The series leveraged its popularity to amplify underrepresented voices, contributing to the ongoing evolution of television as a medium that both reflects and shapes cultural attitudes. Though time has marched forward in the boundaries once tested by La. Law may now appear more familiar, the impact of that kiss remains indelible. It was a testament to the power of television to reflect the world we inhabit and the changes we aspire to see. In 1986, the television landscape welcomed the bold legal drama La La into its fold. Spearheaded by co-creator Terry Louise Fisher, a former deputy district attorney for Los Angeles County, the show promised a riveting glimpse into the world of law and order. However, it wasn't just legal expertise that fueled its creation. Fisher's co-creator, Stephen Bochco, had a familial connection that often flew under the radar. Alan Ratchins, a prominent member of the La Law cast, was not just an actor embodying the complex character of Douglas Brackman Jr. He was also tied to the show's lineage by marriage. Since 1978, Ratchins had been wed to Joanna Frank, Bochco's elder sister. This unique bond between actor and creator lent a personal touch to the unfolding legal narratives. A central figure in shaping the show's direction was head writer David E. Kelly. Strikingly, Kelly held reservations about the show's portrayal of the legal profession. He believed that La Law veered into the territory of idealization, glamorizing lawyers and their work. This perspective spurred Kelly into action, prompting him to create the practice as a counterpoint. This new series presented a grittier, less flattering image of the legal world, a response to what Kelly perceived as the glossing over of real legal challenges in La Law. Amidst its success and acclaim, Fisher crafted a form letter to address criticism from the legal community. Drawing from her experiences as a former deputy district attorney and entertainment lawyer, she aimed to succinctly dismiss the disapprovals. Her letter's essence was captured in her words, Dear so-and-so, if I were a good lawyer, I'd he still be practicing law. Instead, I'm stuck in Hollywood, making ten times as much money. I hope you are as conscientious about your clients as you are about our show. Thank you for your writing. As La Law unfolded in the late 1980s, it ignited conversations not only about the legal system, but also about its portrayal on television. It's a testament to the complex interplay of personal connections, artistic responses, and industry dynamics that continue to shape the world of entertainment. <laughs> Married real and real, the intertwined lives of La. Law's characters, the 1986 TV series La. Law not only captured the legal drama of a Los Angeles firm, but also intertwined the lives of its cast members in unexpected ways. A striking instance of life imitating art emerged through two married couples within the show's ensemble, whose real-life marriages mirrored their on-screen relationships. Anne Kelsey and Stuart Markovitz, portrayed by Jill Eikenberry and Michael Tucker, 
brought a unique authenticity to their roles as husband and wife attorneys. Their chemistry resonated so deeply because, off camera, they shared a genuine bond as a married couple. This dual connection infused their characters' interactions with a natural charm that resonated with viewers. Similarly, the on-screen partnership of Douglas and Sheila Brackman, played by Alan Ratchins and Michelle Green, carried an added layer of complexity. The Brackmans' tumultuous relationship was mirrored by the actor's real-life marriage. This parallel lent an intimate depth to their performances, capturing the raw emotions of a couple navigating both personal and professional challenges. In the world of Lan, Law, where legal battles intertwined with personal struggles, these married cast members brought an authentic richness to the narrative. The blending of their real life and on-screen relationships added a layer of resonance that lingered in the minds of viewers, rendering the show not only a legal drama but also a glimpse into the interconnected lives of its talented ensemble. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Lab, law, its stories and characters remain etched in the tapestry of television history. Just as the legal eagles navigated the intricate realms of justice, you two embarked on a journey, weaving your own emotions, thoughts, and memories into the fabric of this remarkable show. In the echoes of its courtroom dramas and bustling law offices, you might find reflections of your own triumphs and struggles, your own quests for justice and understanding. Blah. Law wasn't just a series, it was a mirror that reflected the complexities of human nature and the intricate dance between ethics and ambition. So, take a moment to wander down memory lane, to recall the scenes that ignited your passions, the characters who felt like old friends, and the cases that resonated with your beliefs. What threads of connection did you form with the show's diverse cast of characters? How did its themes of morality, ambition, and camaraderie ripple through your own life's narrative? Your thoughts, your memories, your reflections are the true testament to the impact lab. Law head on its audience. Share your musings, your favorite moments, and your profound insights with fellow admirers. Let's weave a collective tapestry of appreciation, understanding, and nostalgia. Thank you for embarking on this journey of reminiscence with me. Your time and interest are deeply valued, as they allow us to celebrate the timeless legacy of Lab. Law together. Until next time, may your thoughts be as compelling as a gripping courtroom argument, and your memories as vivid as the show itself. Wishing you a lifetime of engaging tales and captivating moments. Captivating moments.